We got a question from a woman who can masturbate to orgasm with her vibrator. She has a new partner. Her partner is attentive. A partner will go down, will stimulate, will bend over backwards. She can't seem to have an orgasm with her partner. Well, it's complicated. It is. It's complicated. So she should do the same thing she does when she masturbates. During partner sex. Have a threesome. Bring your bright vibrator to bed. Introduce, introduce him to it. Well, that was kind of my first knee jerk, was why not bring the vibrator into bed? A lot of women are very concerned that their significant others are going to be upset. I would imagine that at least 80% of the guys... Let's work for daddy. Come on. <laughs> They're like my tongue, oh, my God. hands. She knows what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when there's one thing when you're a teenager, because I feel like you're so horny and your hormones are racing that you can just like pop off anytime. As age and stress and family life all comes in, it can take a long time. It have, can, a, have a threesome. With your vibrator. Yep. Now, what does that mean? Because the way I use my vibrator in my sex life, in my monogamous marriage, is the vibrator is always on the bed. And we do all kinds of different things. Lots of oral sex on each other. Sometimes we 69 where I lay down so my neck isn't all crazy. Um, I never do the 69 where I'm on top and then he's on me. Uh, 69 for me Confusing. is like, yeah, I go down on him and I have the vibe. <laughs> I'm like, like, that's how we do it. But during the sex act, whether it's penetration or, or manual sex, the vibe is there and I grab it throughout. When I need it and when I want it. And Off again, on again. Yeah, it's not like I just keep it on and we're having penetration sex there's no race so during foreplay if i'm you know doing some oral sex i put my vibe there sometimes i go to orgasm sometimes i don't sometimes i get really close and i say you know what not yet just like when i masturbate <laughs> how do you masturbate do you keep your vibrator well, there the whole time yes <laughs> <laughs> I don't take it off for nothing. I might adjust it. Okay, it. okay, so there is an adjustment. Yeah, there's there an adjustment. Is. There is. Uh, you can't keep it in the same place. No. And you cannot bear down. Women, stop it. Stop it. They're smack. Yeah, I love the one they woman. They mash it in. Yes, the one woman said, I think I've killed my clitoris. <laughs> Well, because we're so nervous or, or fearful that it's not going to happen. And I think as soon as you get in that headspace that you're trying to push anything, it's not going to happen. It it's not the way work. the body works. No, no, it doesn't work. Nothing works that way. You have to relax. Not relax. Focus. I always say it's change your fantasy. Shift your mind. Our mind is involved. Mm -hmm. It's not just the body. So I'm having this hot fantasy and the vibrator's going and oh, I'm loving it. I did it for an hour this morning. No, when I got I was, here, she was just was, getting out I of the was, shower. I'm like, you're supposed to be ready. Like, what the hell? <laughs> She's like, I've been jerking off all morning. And I'm like, Betty, I love you. Oh. You're 88 years old and you spent the morning jerking off. Hats off. Well, I was masturbating all morning, having the best time, having all kinds of wonderful fantasies. And I let my mind roam. I'm having, I'm having a fabulous old age. <laughs> I am. I love it. I get to do exactly what I want to do when I want to do it. Well, that's it. There's no pressure. There's no agenda. When you love each other, it can be hard. But just let it go. Let it be playful. And I stimulate my clitoris throughout. And sometimes I like partner sex. It feels a little more fulfilling to masturbation because when I'm masturbating, I want to get that first orgasm. And I have a kid, so it's like they're doing their things. So I don't have a lot of time. With partner sex, it takes longer. That's kind of the point, right? You're, you're merging energies and different sex acts. And I always have my vibe there for me when I need it. But the dance, it's a dance. That's youth. That's wonderful. Yeah. But when you get old, <laughs> there's nobody that's going to interfere. I can stay over there and 
jerk off for two hours, oh, three hours. There is something to look forward to. I have to tell you, <laughs> getting older. I'm having more fun. Well, I won't say more fun. I'm having so much pleasure in my old age. And it's available. It's available to everyone. Anyone. And I think that's the point with everything that's going on now. There's a lot of tragedy and stress and trauma. You know, it's we like... Have to, we have to balance it. With pleasure. And it's like, yeah, you might not have a house that's underwater or it's on fire. You might be getting deported. Who the hell knows? You might not be able to start school because your be, college is underwater. Be grateful for what you have. And what do we have at any time accessible to us? What do we have? Orgasm. The healing power of pleasure. It's very important, and Mother Earth needs pleasure right now. You pour your pleasure into this poor planet of ours. She needs it as much as we need it to. So don't forget pleasure in your lives.